the blind men, and the elephant. Six blind men were trying to figure out what an elephant is like. One of them, feeling the elephant's side, declared that the elephant was like a wall. The second one, grabbing hold of the elephant's legs, said that the elephant is actually more like a tree. The third one, holding the elephant's nose, said, no, no, the elephant's really more like a snake. And the fourth one, holding the elephant's tail, said, no, 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 you're all wrong. The elephant's actually more like a rope. The fifth man, feeling the elephant's ears, declared that the elephant's actually more like a fan. And the sixth blind man, feeling the elephant's tusk, said, no, no, the elephant's really more like a spear. And thus they got into a heated argument about who had the more correct image of the elephant. In the midst of this argument, a sighted man came along, found them thus arguing, asked them what the problem was. They described the situation and asked him to arbitrate. The sighted man said, none of you have seen the elephant. While it is true that the elephant's side is like a wall, the elephant itself is not like a wall, nor is the elephant like a tree, only it's true that its legs are like trees. And the elephant is not like a snake, only its nose is like that. Nor is the elephant like a rope, but its tail is like a rope. And the elephant is not like a fan, only its ears are like fans. And while its tusks are like a spear, the elephant itself is not like a spear. So each, in his own way, was partly right, but none were entirely right. What they were all wrong about was the thought that they were each entirely right and the others entirely wrong.